summertime. Summer, summertime. Free soft. I'm with Blake. Alright, I'm gonna have to talk about this. Um, put, yeah, I first saw this on Hatman Boxing. Now, I was one of the few that actually saw the interview where Mark Tibbs was referring to um, Billy Joe Saunders in, regard, in regards to um, he didn't give the right signals. He wasn't looking for the right um, response from Billy Joe. That's what made him wave the fight. And IFL, now, I can only talk about... Uh, um, I was told it was on seconds out, but I didn't see it on seconds out, so I'm not going to comment on it. But I did see it on IFL and I did see it on Behind the Gloves. Yeah, I can't talk about um, second outs, seconds out, but I was told it was on there as well. But anyway, boom, fast forward. So obviously, all of a sudden, all those videos have disappeared. Yeah, gone. Now, who who could have done it? Could it have been, obviously, people try to say, oh, yeah, it could be, um, M- is it MTK? Is it uh, Matt Shoe? Was it Eddie Hearn? Is it, uh, yeah, like, obviously, I think Coogan's got, yeah, he's got a close relationship with Billy Joe. You know, damage, like, obviously, it's this whole damage control, trying to keep his name, as a, trying to keep his rep. Okay, so, my thoughts on this, look. Are you lot a, are you lot boxing, did, boxing media, journal, are you journal, journalists, or are you just biased um, fan base, yeah, biased supporters? Now, AFL. When it came to um, Daniel Dubois, when he took the knee. Now, do not... I hear what people are saying, and I do hear what people are saying. Dubois took the knee. Uh, Billy Joe, well, his corner, waved the fight off. All right? Now, I'm only, I'm only going to go back to... And I know a lot of people might not be a fan of him and all the excuses and all that kind of stuff there. But when Deontay Wilder... When the towel was thrown in with Deontay Wilder, you see Deontay Wilder's reactions, yeah? You see his reactions, yeah? That he ended up firing um, Mark Tibbs. And actually, we've got to talk about that firing um, JDs, which I'm happy about as well. But not Mark Tibbs. Mark Tibbs, you know. <laughs> Mark Breland. Uh, but yeah, so where you got Wilder, yeah, literally trying to go out on his shield, all right? Now, Billy Joel, look, obviously, he's a British fighter. I'm always going to be backing him. Like I said, if, if he goes in there against any any fighter, I'm going to be backing, backing him. I'm not tarnishing the guy because I generally, like, I, I know he's got that kind of Marmite kind of character, but I generally like the guy. That's just my personal opinion on him. Uh, but that being, that being said, I'm going to be real, yeah? And what I'm saying, I'm going to be real, look, <sighs> Billy Joe did quit, yeah? I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to, like, the, the the corner waved it off and all that kind of stuff. There, even like a shout out to Spencer Fury because he's actually one of the um, only guys who I actually do listen to when it comes to this whole boxing and like everything in boxing. He's one of the guys I really do listen to and highly do respect him. Like what he like said, he's the knowledge. But Billy Joe did quit, and when I'm referring to he did quit is regards to the fact that okay maybe. He might have not said no mess, like what um, he might, like I said, he ain't take the knee and all that kind of stuff there. He didn't get up. He did not get back up on the stool. Yeah. He, um, when you could tell, he, like I said, even on his corner, even on his corner, you can tell Billy Joe, I, I want to see Billy Joe's reaction now. No, 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 no. Don't throw in the towel. Don't throw in the towel. Yeah. Like I said, Prime example is all good, like, the way he was referring to what he said to Dubois, that he wants to go out on his shield, whether he's got two eyes gone, legs, arms, limbs, whatever, yeah? That was not the same man that I saw, and that is the truth, yeah? People could try and sugarcoat it and all that kind of stuff, but look, he quit, all right? Now, I'm not, I'm not tarnishing him for quitting due to the fact that <laughs> he practically saved his eyesight. From what we from what we um been told. Alright? So I'm not bashing him for quitting. But one thing I will say is it's easier, like I said, I just see the different similarity when it came to Dubois, yeah, compared to Billy Joe. Call it what you want. The guy quit, yeah? Dubois quit. 
Billy Joel quit. Now, when I say, like, when you talk about referring, a quit's a quit at the end of the day, but when you're referring to, okay, well, Billy Joel, his team waved it off and all that kind of stuff there, he didn't look like, he did not look, he did not look in the slightest shape or form that he wanted to get out back out of the store. And that is just the truth. You could see the beat, like, you could, you could just tell, yeah? You could just tell that he did not want it. But my problem is with IFL. Um, and behind the gloves and I was told about seconds out once again I can't talk about that because I didn't see it on the, the channel Mark Tibbs gave an immediate reaction on it yeah why have you taken those videos down yeah be real yeah if you are just biased fan base yeah but biased follower like, like um, whether like I said IFL obviously part of MTK and spo sorry, sponsors of by MTK and all that kind of stuff there. yeah cool that's fine but then that's 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 fine with me. Then you do what you're doing over there, yeah. State state what you want. Is that the same thing with this LDBC idiots? Yeah, across the pond. Yeah, you're a bunch of fanboys. Yeah, if you do that, is fine. Obviously, that's the bag. Now it might not be MTK. Maybe it could, like I said, it could be Andy Hearn. Andy Hearn saying that no, no, no. You need to take those videos off. Um, um behind the glass, you need to take those videos off. Uh, what's told about seconds out. Take those, take the videos off. It's, it's, um, it's giving Billy Joel. It's gonna be bad for business for us. Yeah, then that's fine. Stick over there. Don't be coming on like you're on this whole neutral like. But this is what I'm trying to say. That's that's why. I look, obviously. Um, I was told about Rob Tebbett done a couple of things, but one thing I can say, the guy gives the real, the real. Um, real he's like a real journalist. Yeah, like I said. Uh, eventually at some point once my channel grows once my channel grows and all that kind of stuff there like, listen the interviews that I will be giving you know yeah but like I said if you're, if you're like, like there's no whole bods yeah there's no fanboyism no nothing like that like I said I'm always going to be backing my Brit the British fighters like, even I'll be honest with you I'll be real like that yeah I'm a big fan of um, Teofimo Lopez yeah I'm a big fan of Teofimo Lopez as in when it comes to his boxing yeah like, not a fanboy, but I seen, when I'm referring to him, I'm a big fan of him, I'm referring to the fact that, you know what? I like his style. I like, I love, like I said, I love, um, I love the way he fights, yeah? So, I like Teofimo. If Teofimo's going against Luke Campbell, yeah, I'm going to be back in the Brit. Yeah? Yeah, cool. People call it patriotic and all that kind of stuff. They're, I don't care. Like, like I'm always going to be back in the Brit. Yeah? Terence Crawford. Terence Crawford, yeah, mate, like I said, Terence Crawford, the way he fights, Canelo, the way he fights, all of these fighters out here, the way they fight, like I said, I, I am a big, let me, let me take away the way, let me take the word fan and use it as a supporter, I'm a big supporter of the style and I love the way they fight, but if they're going up against any Brit, I'm always going to be back in the Brit, yeah, I'll, I'll call it clear as day, yeah, doesn't mean they're going to win, if they lose, they lose, do you, do you get what I'm saying, but, don't be coming out with your your this um your these media your media outlet channels and all that kind of stuff there and you're taking down videos because of um damage control yeah then stick stick st st have that same energy that's all i could say because with dubois the amount of things that ifl were putting out there that were tarnishing dubois yeah oh he's a quitter in rare 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 now look I don't know. Like I said, I've I've never had an auto auto. I can never say that word. Yeah, I never had that audible whatever. Yeah, I never had it broken, so I cannot comment on that. But one thing I'm never gonna um, do if someone quits over it, they quit. Yeah, they might, I might say things. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. He quit. Like even another thing, even though I, even though I bashed Eubank Junior the other day about rah rah about um, what has he done in boxing and all that kind of stuff there. But you know what I was, you know what I actually was find amazed. No one's gone out to interview Eubank Junior. Yeah, I find that amazing. No, where's I felt? Where, where's the interview with Eubank Junior? Behind the gloves interview. Um, what have, what other channels? Someone needs to go out there and interview Eubank Jr. Of course, Eubank Jr. is going to tarnish and bash and laugh and whatever on on um, Billy Joe, yeah. But it's like I said, it's a fair opinion, yeah. Play two ends. That's it. Two. It's two fields, yeah. 
if you're just a biased, if you're if you're a biased media outlet, you're moving like the BBC and Sky Sports and all that kind of stuff. There, that's fine. Stick to that. Do your thing. You then you're not media. You're not real. You're not real media. That's it, man. Like, come on, man. Like, that's what. That's what. That's what I said. And look, it's a thing where, obviously, I know maybe like I said, oh yeah, you know what? If I do this, then you know. Uh, Oh no, Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn might not um, give me the, the, those are all exclusives before and all that kind of stuff. Then so be it. So be it. If you want real, like I said, that's what that, that's what I'm saying, man. It's like, you know, like I said, like look, Rob Tebbett, Obviously, I don't I don't think he gets interviews from Frank Warren and all that kind of stuff there because he has he asks the difficult questions. Same thing. I remember the one with Mauricio Solomon. Yeah, and you know what? Even though Mauricio Solomon chats the most nonsense, yeah, you know what? One thing I have to respect the fact he still goes, he still goes out there and, and asks the questions. You dig what I'm saying? Like even though they're ridiculous, but he still goes, go, still goes out there. Look, real questions. Real fan base wants to be like real boxing fans. Yeah, come on, man. It, it's like. Just don't call yourself a media. Don't like yeah. Just call yourself biased media. Just be part of an LDBC community. And like I said, well, you know what? Better no. Save the bag. Got to save the bag. Yeah. To keep my to get my views going. To keep the views up and all that kind of stuff. There. That's fine. I am. I have no problem with that. Yeah. But keep the same same energy throughout. Yeah. Don't have me. Don't have some channels that'll be bad. Not one person has. Not one person has criticized Billy Joe. Yeah. Not one person has criticised Billy Joe. I know someone who would, Eubank Jr. But maybe, like I said, maybe when Eubank Jr.'s got a fight down the line, then you might you might get an interview. Then you might you might get it cut or whatever. That's what I'm saying, man. This, like I said, this ain't like yeah, you're you're just as bad as the LDBC. Like, and that's the honest truth. That's the honest truth. People can say what they want. Like I said, um, I call it for what it is. Billy Joe Saunders did quit. All right? I'm going to repeat this again. Billy Joe Saunders did quit. Yeah? In regards to what he said about um, Dubois, yeah? Now, he's he, he he's at the receiving end. Yeah? Billy Joe, from what I heard on the fight, yeah? Definitely broke something. Like I said, that, that shot sound like something broke. Yeah? Like I said, you go back, go back onto the zone... Watch our fight again. Just listen, just listen, bro. Just listen carefully. Like, definitely something was broken. Yeah, if they said it's broken, his cheekbones broken in three places, and he and he broke his audible bro. No, I can never say it, but yeah, I, like I said, he quit. But you know what? It's a justifiable reason for where he quit. His towel is the one who officially waved the fight off. Mark Breland is the Mark Breland. <laughs> Mark Tibbs is the guy who literally waved the fight off. Yeah, Billy Joe. Did not look in no shape or form frustrated or mad that Mark Tibbs or said, no, you're not stopping this fight. And that's the truth. Yeah. Call it for what it is. So, yeah, that's it. He, he might, the, the words might not come out of his mouth. He might have not took the knee. He might have not relaxed it, but he was not getting up from that stall. And that's the truth. And he was very passive. Yeah. When the fight was waved off. And that's the truth. Stick to the truth. That's it. That's all I got for this one. Yeah. You lot, you lot, tell me your thoughts. Um, you, you lot, tell me your thoughts on these biased outlet channels, as in these biased media, as in AFL behind the gloves. And I'm not gonna comment on seconds out, but I heard seconds out done exactly the same thing. You lot, tell me your thoughts. It's a larger fan here with fan unboxing. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, stay blessed, everyone. All right, cool. <laughs> Summer, summer, summer time. Summer, summer time. Too soft. I'm with Lay.